For the series 20th anniversary, Natsume released a PS4 port of the original PS2 game, Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life. Just as a fair warning, it's literally a direct port of the game and not really a remaster or anything close to it except for a couple achievements that they added to the game. In reality, it's the same game that was released 12 years ago, but on a new system. The only thing I could really think about when playing this game is how badly I wanted it to be a remaster. The 3D graphics that were common for the period this game came out in didn't really age well. If you move forward a few years, it gets a lot better. However, for the longest time, 3D graphics weren't really good. The polygons are really jagged, the animation is really wonky, and the finer details and background aren't really pleasant to look at. The 2D graphics weren't great either, with menus and item icons that looked obviously stretched from a low resolution and floor textures that looked blatantly tiled. However, I'm not going to sit around and complain about how a 12 year old game looks bad, it's just natural for its age. At the same time, I feel like the game would have been better off with a couple minor adjustments. For example, the turning speed is way too fast. You can use the left stick to pan the camera around and it seems to only want to move at 100 miles an hour. While not a major issue, it was really difficult getting used to. At the same time, the frame drops that were present 12 years ago still exist in this version. It would have been nice to see them go back and fix a couple of the minor issues that the original game could have had, but that could have been an issue with something that couldn't have been easily fixed. Overall, I would have liked to see the game be a remaster instead of a port. When you stack this game up with the current success of Stardew Valley, which I'm currently doing a let's play on, it's easy to see how basic and dated the game is. I feel that if Natsume put some more effort into it and released an improved version of the game, they could have competed with Stardew Valley, which is a pretty big on the PS4. The game was a huge hit back then, and there's a lot of Harvest Moon fans in the world, and they still are really dedicated to the series, and if they capitalized on it, they could have done pretty well. In conclusion, this really wasn't the game I was hoping for. I might try it again if they release another port, but if it was only the ones I really liked. I divide Harvest Moon into three categories, anime, 3D, and classic. I don't care much for the former two types of game because I just really don't enjoy how they look. However, I really love the classic look that games like Friends of Mineral Town had, but most of them were on Nintendo systems, so it's unlikely that they'll be coming out for the PS4. As for you, if you were a fan of the original Wonderful Life, then you'll love this game. It's literally the original PS2 game on the PS4, with achievements thrown in. If that's all you've ever wanted, then this game is perfect for you. However, if you didn't enjoy the original A Wonderful Life, or the rest of the series for that matter, you're probably not going to want to pick this game up.